Hello friends, it's Carla here today with Creative Scrapbooker Magazine. Today we are going to make a center step folded card with some really fun products. And we'll have a look at those here. We've got beautiful washi tape from Serenity Fair Washi Tapes. This one has some gorgeous images, some Ulfa craft scissors, Lindy's gang embossing powders. We've got Ranger Stickles and some Elizabeth Craft Tweezers. I have some adhesives here from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. We have some really cool products from Dare to be Artsy. Here's the center step die, it's a horizontal one, and it um, creates an A2 size card. We've got stamps and dies from the Winter Wonderland set. And these stamps, or these dies rather, fits the stamp, but also fits some of the images on the paper, which is really cool. So this is the Winter Escape paper line and we have um, images on the front and then prints on the back. I also have the Christmas Magic stamp set and dies, and those also match with various images that are printed on this beautiful winter paper. So you can see here, I'm grabbing one of the dies that we're going to use, and you could uh, totally um, make your own ephemera essentially by die cutting those images. You also have some cut aparts and beautiful paper. So here's that center step die and basically you're going to cut an A2 card size so five and a half by eight and a half. You place the die on the bottom and run it through and it cuts the areas that need to be cut and it adds the score lines to the areas that are going to be folded. So it makes just a beautiful uh, step folded card and I love how quick and easy this is. You don't have to get out rulers and measurements. It is just really easy and makes a really lovely A2 size card. So this just fits in a regular envelope. You're going to fold on your score lines and just burnish those folds with a bone folder and you can see how that then will stand up. I cut the red square from some Spellbinders paper and I'm using the Spellbinders tool in one just to remove any remaining paper inside the scallop edges. And then I used the Dare to be Artsy paper, uh, the back side, to create some elements that are going to go on the front of the card using the um, really nice dies that are included with this horizontal center step die. I am using the beautiful uh, Serenity Fair washi tape. Um, this is just lovely winter Christmas uh, images on this washi and I'm cutting the washi. I love that it's large and you can use it to fill a large area. I'm adding it to just a base of some regular white cardstock and pressing that down and then I'm looking for various pieces that I want to use. So for the little um, little rectangles on each side of the center step folds, I'm going to use the little lamp posts that are in the washi. And I will definitely use that other washi that I've cut off. Here I'm showing you some of the other washies that I have. They're gorgeous, that floral, and then this one has little fairies in it. So these will definitely be used for other cards for sure. And I'm adding the Dare to be Artsy die, placing it over the areas that I want to die cut out. And so just running those through the die cut machine. After they're run through, they have a really nice stitched edge to them. And that's a little banner. And this little snowflake was in with the Winter Wonderland die. So I cut out four of those. And I'm going to layer those together. Here I'm placing the little snowy skating scene 
um, dye over the scene on the patterned paper. Uh, once your pattern paper is used, you can definitely use your stamps and color them. I just thought this was a really fun way to use this paper. And here's the little skaters and I'm just placing the dye over that as well. And using just a little bit of that Serenity Fair washi tape to hold my dyes as well. There we go with the little skaters. Those are gonna be popped up on top. Now I'm going to add some embossing powder to the snowflake. So I'm adding some, I used the uh, repositionable scrapbook adhesives by 3L tape uh, to add my snowflake to the background piece of white cardstock. Then I covered it with the um, embossing ink and covered it then with the Lindy's Gang Angel Wing Mauve embossing powder. I'm using the Ranger Heat It tool. I'm really liking this tool for drying things as well as uh, using it to emboss. And you can see how easily that snowflake popped off um, because I had used the repositionable adhesive or removable adhesive. So I'm stacking these die cuts. I stacked up four of them so that I could get more of a chipboard-like embellishment and it has that beautiful Lindy's Gang embossing powder on it, which has a lovely shine. Now I'm going to emboss my uh, sentiments and I'm using a powder tool just to remove any static. I have the embossing ink. This one is from Tonic Nouveau and I'm just stamping the stamp on there. I usually do it a couple times just to make sure I get a good coat of the embossing ink and then I can add this beautiful embossing powder. So this one here is Terracotta Rust from Lindy's Gang and I just emboss that on. I find if you get any little bit of red that's still showing up, you can just easily wipe that away once the embossing is cool. And then again, I'm doing the same thing and adding the rest of the sentiments. So the sentiments are from the Winter Wonderland stamp set. And I'm adding Skating By with Snowy Greetings. Uh, I just felt like it matched really nicely with the little skaters on there. This could be a winter or a Christmas card. I love the, the cute little images on this paper and in the stamps. So now we're going to heat this up again and just watch this melt. It just melts to a really beautiful shine. And there's a die in the Winter Wonderland Dare to be Artsy die set that cuts out the snowy greetings. Now I can start to add the elements to the center step die card, die cut card. And I'm using the scrapbook adhesives by 3L permanent runner now and adding all these little pieces. I love that this set has the inside pieces to die cut and you could definitely use all these pieces um, in your other cards and die cutting. I, I find that I always love to have uh, different sizes for banners and um, to add stamped sentiments to. So these will be great. That panel there with the Serenity Fair washi tape is just gorgeous. And I'm just layering everything on. So here I have some scrapbook adhesives by 3L, the foam strips. These are one of my definitely must have uh, products in my craft room. And I'm adding that along with some of the scrapbook adhesives by 3L circle uh, foam adhesives. And then I can add the little skating scene onto the card. And I've got this uh, beautiful embossed snowflake element. And now I can add the cute little people, the 
uh, Elizabeth Craft tweezers I find really helps when you're positioning especially small things and the sentiment is just going to go underneath I really like the layers of everything and how um, it all just kind of works together and then I've got some of the Ranger stickles this is a clear um, with almost like an iridescent glitter in there and I'm adding it to the little lights in the skating scene and a few little areas um, around the images and on top of the washi tape so here's a look at our completed card it is so beautiful and I can't wait to send this to someone and I hope that you'll check out some of these wonderful products from Dare to be Artsy and Serenity Fair Washi Tape and Lindy's Gang. And I hope that you have a very crafty day. Thanks for watching.